what you see here is a new variable folding bridge which we have adapted to an 8x8 uh, armored vehicle, a Piranha 3. The idea of that bridge is that we have um, a bridge system that fits on both wheeled and tracked vehicles and can carry all combat vehicles and trucks up to a military loading classification of 15. The bridge you see here has a length of 15 meter and can carry military loading class 50. We use a bridge launch mechanism that is adapted uh, with a so-called jettison fitting kit and uh, the launcher both are from Pearson Engineering. This is a system that is already adapted to a lot of combat vehicles. The bridge is an aluminum bridge and is launched or recovered within two minutes. We don't need any support. The crew of that uh, vehicle is uh, a driver and a commander and it has a seating capacity for infantry squad. So we are using a standard troop transport vehicle which can temporarily con um, convert it into a bridge layer. It's a very new bridge, um, the first one here. We show it also the first time. We are building bridges since the 1950s, so this is not new to us. This is just a new concept and a new design, but based on existing bridges we have manufactured before and which are in service already. Hello, this is uh, Yagi-san from Math Arms, and I will quickly present our company, which is uh, founded 60 years ago. We've, uh, we first found it as a hunting uh, shotgun and rifle manufacturer, and uh, since two years we started entering to the military defense uh, market, and uh, we entered with uh, our sniper rifle, uh, which is 308 caliber, and uh, with a 61 centimeter barrel. We have a five round magazine in this and a two stage adjustable trigger with a 60 degrees bolt over here. Our accuracy that we are getting is um, below one MOA with premium factory ammunition. Uh, we, we just started the serial production. So we are just introducing this product in Eurosatory 2018. Basically, uh, all the forces that are capable to use the, this uh, sniper rifle we are uh, focused on. So we can say military, police forces, uh, all around the world. Carmor produces armored vehicles of uh, different uh, types and sizes. We are also building firefighting vehicles and uh, today in Eurosatory we are exhibiting our new, newly designed vehicle, the, the Mantis. When you look at the market and you are trying to focus on the right segment in which the solution is not vast, is not uh, apparent, we recognize that under 8 tons there are uh, merely very few protected vehicles that can provide a variety of solutions for the combat units, for the various users. Hence, we decided to, to take the challenge and to introduce uh, what we call the Mantis, which is a, a heavily protected, light-weighted vehicle that provides um, a variety of solutions. Basically, it's a platform for solutions. Uh, simultaneously providing high level of protection for the crew. We are claiming that the cost of mission or the cost of executing a certain mission to dominate an area doesn't need to be executed with a big, large, expensive vehicle. It can be done with the Mantis, which is normally under 8 tons. Uh, it can carry a variety of weapons, systems, etc. etc. can be used for uh, multiple missions, scouting, reconnaissance, attack, patrolling, uh, support, etc. etc. The vehicle is designed of two parts, the protected capsule in the front and the pickup or the rear part which is not protected, completely modular, can be changed to any uh, configuration the customer would like either to carry more weight or to have a bigger system, etc. 
The driver is sitting in the middle to provide him uh, almost an absolute uh, field of view. This is extremely important in urban area, in rough terrain, uh, for safety reasons, operational reasons. I, I think only a few vehicles, armor, armor fighting vehicles in the world, using this approach. What we are saying repeatedly that basically we have invented nothing but optimized everything. The vehicle is really compact in its dimensions. Uh, only five meter long, 2.3 widths, but represent or presents a huge internal volume for the ease of operation of the crew um, and the carrying capabilities of payload. Now, this is a, a prototype in the last, stage of, last stages of development. We will be ready for uh, mass production early next year and we are now finalizing the first orders of the vehicle. Aeronautics Group is in defense business for 20 years. We are doing UAV, unmanned aerial system. We are doing border protection and many other unmanned solutions for land, air and maritime application. First of all, I would like to mention that we are serving 77 clients worldwide in 55 countries. We have all the spectrum of UAV from small one, 10 kilogram up to two ton UAV. Okay, we are doing everything in house. What I would like to emphasize today is Orbiter 4, which we just lately launched. Orbiter 4 is a small tactical UAV, which is this one which able to carry two sensors simultaneously, can fly 24 hours to a range of a mission of 150 kilometer line of sight. It's one of the most advanced UAV that exists today in the world because we can fly very long, very fast, long endurance with very powerful payloads. Electro-optics, radar, cellular interception, SIGINT, COMINT, ELINT, any kind that customer needs for any purpose.